All right, so I'm gonna to try to explain this. So you go to those links that I sent you to download. <clears throat> As you can see, I already have them. So you have Atmosphere. I have the Tegram, Tegra RCM, whatever the hell you call it. And I have the Fuse bin. So you wanna open your Tegram. And you want to upload that Fuse bin. And then we're good. Every time you re-download or download a new version of uh, Atmosphere, you're also going to download a new version of Fuse bin and it gives it to you on that link. So you'll be able to find it. Now I have my SD card. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to lose everything, but you're going to format it into FAT32 and then just hit start. Like I said, I'm not gonna do it because if I do, I'm gonna lose everything. So, go back to my downloads, open Atmosphere, and I'm just gonna drag and drop all of this onto the SD card. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna fuck up anything. Back to my downloads. Um, this, JSK or JKSB, same thing, just drag and drop it to your SD card. That is your save file and you're really gonna need it for Pokemon. You can also use that for Animal Crossing if you play it. So, once all that is on your Switch, I'm gonna try to do this on one hand here. You're gonna come back to the Switch. This little jig thing that you buy. And take note that my switch is also plugged in to the computer with the USB cord. I'm just gonna, it goes with the little, little metal pings on the bottom. And you're gonna hold down the plus and the power. And then you heard my computer do its little ding dong thing. That means you're gonna see that come up like that. Oh, let me put the SD card back in it. This is your SD card, right? Nope. Okay, make sure that SD card's in there. Inject, and you're gonna see it come up as atmosphere. And then you're gonna come to your album and as you can see it is hacked and you press B and from there you can access your save file which is the JKSV. Now once you do this the first time you're gonna save your game and you're gonna hit backup. I'm not gonna back it up because I don't want to but you can hit backup. And that's how you hack the switch. Now we get into some PK hex stuff. There's some cool things you can do with it. So like this person ordered the little leafy on and this little check mark just tells you that everything is legal. So here you can select the Pokemon, the level, the nature, the held item, and the ability. This little met tab is where you can change the ball. Stats is where you can change. So these are your IVs. This is your EVs. And then attacks. And it'll tell you if an attack is, everything in the green is a legal attack. If I were to come down here, see, and <clears throat> it's not gonna be tradable when you do that. Um, this, if they want their secret ID, trainer ID, and OT, that's where you would put that. And then, once you do that, well, I'm gonna have to put whatever move you wanted back on there. You hit, and then set. And then that's how you make a legal Pokemon, and it's kind of the same thing with eggs. Like, these are eggs, and it's telling me that it's legal, so it's good to go. And you can tell it's in an egg, because it's got the little egg icon. Um, if you're having a hard time making a Pokemon, 
You can come down here to your encounter database. Um, let's say I don't know how to make a Dialga. Oops. We're gonna hit search. And there, we're gonna hit view. And there is a legal Dialga. From there, I can make him shiny. I can change his stats. I can change his attacks. And if I'm done with him, I just hit set. And get my box. So once you do that, you would export save. And since my SD card isn't here or isn't connected anymore, I can't really save it. But you would um, go to your SD card and then you would go to the switch. You know what? Let me just show you. Let me just show you. Again, I'm just turning it completely off. And this is really hard to do one-handed. All right, I know my SD card's in there. All right, so you see it all came up. So JKSB, Brilliant Diamond, coming all the way down to Diamond. And then I would just save it right here and hit save. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna screw anything up. But then you can kind of, it kind of goes both ways. So I come to my SD card and this, I can explain this better if you need me to, but you just get the gist of it, of, of hacking and then you can play around with PK Hex. Um, so this is my save. I'm gonna drag and drop it. And yeah, it's just gonna warn me that anything I have will be lost. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. And that, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. Um, once you get kind of get the hang of it. So, yeah, and then I'll just go ahead since I'm still waiting on this guy to pick up his custom export save. And you see it's already there. So, export. Yep. 